for the mess. So basically, we have something like this. This is your x naught. This is your x naught plus del x naught. This is your x one. This is your x one plus del x one, right? And this integral is from here to here. So this integral, this integral is from this part to this part. What I am doing is, I am including an interval from uh, integral from x naught to x one. But this part is not there, so I have to subtract from x naught to x naught plus del x naught. Okay, then from here to here plus x one to x one plus del x one. Okay, so basically this integral I am dividing into three parts. The first part is this is from x naught to x naught plus del x naught with a negative sign. So I am writing that integral as x naught plus del x naught to x naught. Is that thing clear? This is this this integral. Then from x naught to x one this integral. Then from x naught to x one. Okay, and then from x one to x one plus delta x one. Okay, and this integral as such here. Right now we will combine this and this. Okay. Okay. So we will combine those two integrals. So we will have x naught to x one f x y plus h y dash plus h dash minus f x y dash dx, and we had the other things left that that are x one to x one plus delta x one and minus x naught to x naught plus delta x naught. Right? Okay. So I denote this symbol means that we are just taking the linear terms and we are not writing the terms which are Of the order higher than one relative to the distance between y and y plus h, right? Now apply the Taylors here. You will get f x y y dash plus h times f y x y y dash plus h dash times f y dash x y y dash. This will cancel. You will be left with f y times h f y dash times h dash dx, right? And what is this? What is this integral? Uh, this this will be when you will apply the I, uh, Taylor's. It will be f x y y dash plus higher order terms. Okay, in h n h dash, and then you will integrate that. So basically, I'll just show you. This will be x one to x one plus del x one f d x plus x one to del x one like h f y. Plus h dash f y dash d x plus more terms, and here I can treat it as a constant that is equal to the value of f at the point x one, okay, f x y y dash at the point x one times integral d x from x one to x one plus delta x one that is delta x one, and here when you will integrate, you will get the terms which are containing h and delta x one. And h dash and delta x one, so they are of order two relative to these small terms. H and delta x one both are small, so we can neglect that, right? So we don't, we are not uh, taking those terms, right? So this is the only term. So this integral is equal to f x y x one f computed at okay f x y y dash computed at x one times delta x one, okay? And similarly, this term will be. f x y dash computed at x not times delta x not with a negative sign. Now you integrate this by parts. Okay, this term integrate by parts. You will get this integral as such. First part as such plus first function. This is your first function integration of second function from x not to x one minus differentiation of first function that is d y by d x of f y dash times integration of second function that is h x d x plus this term as such and this term as such. Okay. Right, so we can write it more precisely in the next video. Right? So your del j basically will be combine the integral. You will get x not to x one f y minus d y by d x of f y dash h x d x plus f at x equal to x one times delta x one minus this term f at x is equal to x not at delta x not. This is from the When we integrated by parts, we had this first function integration of second function from x is equal to x naught to 
x is equal to x1 so it will be f by dash h at x is equal to x1 minus f by dash h at x is equal to x0 so this is what is delta j the only the first part on the linear part so basically this is nothing but variation itself because we are now writing the terms with higher order okay now we want to compute what is this h at x1 and h at x0 right for that go back to the diagram we had the diagram for y and y star right so we have this i will draw again here i have this okay we will see here only i have this y and i have this y star okay this point is x not y not okay this this point is x not y not and in this interval uh, this is just the tangent which i have extended y star is basically starting from here this point is x not plus delta x not y not plus delta y not so this length okay this length is this much length is i want to compute h x not what is h x not h x not is basically y star at x not minus y at x not okay so y star at x not is same as this okay because uh, y star at x not is uh, just a minute no not same as this y star at x not is Yeah, this is my y star, right? I'm sorry, I'm confusing. I'm confusing the things, right? So yeah, okay. So this is my y star. So this is y star at x naught, and this is y at x naught. So this is what I want. This is h at x naught. Y star at, at x naught minus y at x naught. So this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. And this, this is my y naught, and this is this point is y naught plus delta y naught. So this whole length is my delta y naught, and this is my h x naught. so if i know this small length okay then i can know h of x not just this minus this so i want to know what is this small length okay so suppose this angle is theta then i can compute this and this this obviously this is delta x not so i have tan theta is equal to this upon this so i have tan theta is equal to whatever i need divided by delta x not right now this is theta okay if i divide up a line like this this is also theta right this is 90 degrees angle this is 90 degrees angle if i draw a line like here this is 90 everything is 90 so this will be this is theta so you can prove that this is theta right and so tan theta will be what will be tan theta tan theta is basically the tangent of y y dash okay so that is y dash at the point x not at this point right at this point but we assume that this delta x not is small so i can approximate that so basically from here tan theta is y dash at the point x not plus delta x not but i am writing that as y dash at x not okay so i get this tan theta is equal to y dash at x not so i have this small thing as y dash of x not times delta x not okay so i have this small thing as y dash at x not my in times delta x not so this minus this will give me h of x not so what is h of x not h of x not is delta y not minus y dash x not times delta x not okay so i can replace this h of x not similarly h at x1 you can compute that will be your del at y1 minus y dash at x1 times delta x1 now you have this del j is equal to i am not touching this part this is as such so you have this thing okay plus f this term as such i'm not touching it again then f y dash i'm replacing that h at x1 f y dash at x is equal to x1 then h at x1 with h of x1 is this okay then this term as such then this term here i'm replacing h of x not with this term so i have minus f y dash at x x not times this thing okay so it means that this is just i don't need to write it like this this is my delta j is equal to this thing i am just like organizing the things i have this you can organize the last line it will be this this term as such then i have f y dash x is equal to x1 times del y1 minus f y dash at x is equal to x not at del y times del y not Plus f y f minus y dash f y dash at x is equal to x one times del x one minus f minus y dash f y dash 
at x is equal to x naught times del x naught or more precisely we can write it first term as such you can write it as f y dash del y from x naught to x1 and th this as f minus y dash f y dash del x from x naught to x1 okay where by like if i am saying f uh, del x at x is equal to x naught this is equal to my del x naught okay these are the notations i am using so this is easy to remember right this form is easy to remember right and in the first case, in the simplest case, we had only this as our variation, right? Now you can see, right? We have these these things, okay? And in the second case, where we, we allowed the endpoints to move on the line x is equal to x1 and x is equal to x2, right? We had this, this as our variation, right? And now a more term is added. So this is the general variation. Here we don't have any restrictions at all, right? Now you, from this case, if you want to obtain your previous cases, obviously you will obtain. For example, in case of fixed endpoints, fixed endpoints means you have delta x naught, delta x one, delta y naught, delta y one, all zero, right? So in that case, this is zero, this is zero. So this much is the variation. We already know that, right? And in the case when you allow the endpoints to move along the lines x is equal to x1 and x is equal to x2. So it means that del x is 0, del x not and del x1 is 0, but del y and del y not and del y1 is not 0. So you get del j is equal to the first term as such plus this del x1 is 0 and del x2 not is 0. Therefore, this term will vanish. So you will be left with this term plus this term. Okay. So you know that these, these were the variations in those cases. So this is the variation in the general form where there is no restrictions on the endpoints and this is very important thing you have to remember and it is very easy to remember this is just the left hand side of Euler's equation you have to remember this f y dash and then f minus y dash f y dash okay here you have del y here you have del x okay okay thank you